Hi, and welcome to The Human Frequency. Today we're going to talk about something that uh, everyone's talking about and everyone's annoyed about, which is the masks, but not uh, in the way that most people are talking about masks. Because what we realized was that the whole mask wearing throughout our entire culture is actually one big satanic ritual. And it's very important that people know what is going on with the masks, because this is not about uh, breathing or spreading disease, which is spread by surfaces, by the way, by touching something when you're sick and then someone else touching it and touching their mouth. That's how disease is spread. Recently, scientists have changed that whole concept. And now they say, oh, it's spread just through the air. And you could touch whatever you want because, you know, we still want you buying stuff at Walmart, <laughs> but just wear the mask. So well, they'll just say whatever they want, whatever they're paid to say, whatever their license stipulates they have. To say. <laughs> right. Because but, the license is what they're loyal to, not human health. But we've we've talked about that before. Yeah. And uh, well, I don't like the masks chiefly because it takes the attention off of this really great haircut that you just yeah, gave Yeah, he has me. a so great haircut. I want to compliment you for that first off. But <laughs> Thank no, you. In all, in all Through serious... this whole thing, Gabe always had great hair because I cut his hair. So even when the salons and barbershops were shut down, he still had a great haircut. And even if Armageddon Day comes and everything's on fire and there's molten lava flying around, I will still look great. So, and, and you I will, and I'll tell you why Gabe will still look great. Because he won't have the mark of the beast. And everyone who takes the mark of the beast will perish. This is in Revelation. This is written. So if you think you need it in order to get by and keep conducting trade, and you take that mark, you will perish. And if you... I'm, I'm hoping that Gabe and I make it to the other side without perishing. If we are given the seal of God on our heads instead of the mark of the beast in our wrists, which is the RFID chip. Or the forehead. Or the forehead. It's it's not just a physical mark. We're going to get into that. It's an etheric spiritual mark as well. And we've already but taken it. People are doing, but... It's culminating in the physical mark is what we're seeing yeah. here. And, and I really want to take time right now to also point out something really important is that if you think the Bible was just written by some men who aim to deceive everyone else, then you're deluding yourselves. While that book has been used for deceitful purposes, if you actually read it, we're talking 26 different authors over a 13 or 1400 year period. If you actually No contradictions. Read it, they didn't know each other. Nope. You, it becomes obvious that no one, no human could possibly have authored it, that it was, it was divine inspiration that right. came through the writers and it was just put into text form. But no, it, it's not just, just the whims of some men. So I want to just debunk that right away because yeah. if you actually read it, you'll see that that's just impossible. And yes, yeah. there's, there is not a single contradiction in there. It's, it, that is a lie that's been spread around. And yes, if you change words, then there will be contradictions. And religions create contradictions through their yes. own beliefs, but it's all consistent throughout. And if you look at what's happening in the world today, you see the prophecy playing out. And the mark of the beast is already here. It isn't something that's coming. It's already here. And we're going to talk about that, but I just want to first talk a little bit about the mask because the mask is the predecessor to that physical mark of the beast that they're going to implant in everybody or that they want to. And I really do hope people resist. A lot of people, I don't even know, just people in the world, I hear them talking about it, say that they would rather die than take mm -hmm. the RFID chip. So first off, the masks. Now, I wear it when I go into the store to buy food because otherwise I won't be able to get food. My ultimate goal is to be able to get food without doing that. And right now, things are such that we haven't got to that point yet. So I understand that people are wearing them. You have no choice if you want to go in and buy your groceries. Yeah, well, there's a difference but, between that and you'll see people just driving their cars and you'll see them wearing their masks mm -hmm. inside their car. And that's right. just obviously taking it to the nth degree. Well, when I see someone who wears a mask voluntarily, I consider them insane and I don't want anything <laughs> to do with them. When I see people who are letting them hang off their faces or just putting them on because they have to, I say, well, this, this guy is like me, you know, that they understand that this is all... BS. And even if it's a real disease, which it isn't, it's just, it was, it was the flu. Flu season's over. No one's getting any anymore. Long the longer. only people getting it now are not human. They are AI because COVID is comp vid 2019. It's a computer virus, which is why the mail is all screwed up, which is why 
uh, the government is shut down. It's not because of a physical illness that humans get. It's That's a computer big, virus that is affecting the AI. corporations are having such a difficult time with the most basic Mundane tasks fe- yeah. that they used to have no problem yeah. with even a year ago. Because so it's a computer virus. Th- this is de- and, and further proof of this is if you look at who is allegedly getting this computer virus, <laughs> who do we have? We have politicians. Yeah. We have government actors of all types. We have athletes, we have celebrities, we have just very high level people within that parasitic yeah. system. Right. So, if, if and you Hollywood actually, is shut down too, by the way. This is affecting yeah. everybody in Southern California. If you actually look around, you'll see that no actual humans are getting it. Yeah, they'll put it on a death certificate or on a diagnosis, but that doesn't actually mean they have it because no. who has a laboratory and can test this stuff for themselves? No, your only choice is to just either believe what they're saying or reject it. And like you, I'm hoping that most people are leaning towards the rejection. And it, it's always good to be skeptical. Well, and they had a major computer glitch in reporting uh, COVID, human, supposedly human COVID cases in California. And the public health director of the state just resigned mysteriously and without explanation less than a year after she became director. So you have to see that there's a lot of problems and a computer glitch. They said it. There are so many computer glitches going on right now. Sometimes I'll order stuff on Amazon and it will just go to some random address in another state. Uh, I have twice, I'm trying to order supplies I need for making Organite. I tried to order sanding sticks twice. And even both times, I've, and one I've ordered from before many times, the same person sent me the wrong thing. And again, sent me the wrong thing. Uh, it's crazy. And so I know that there's something going on that's glitchy in the whole AI system, which we are completely attached to. We have an episode about that. We need to detach from it. For now, I understand we're still interconnected with it. So that is why I'm saying, yes, I do wear the mask when I go out. Yes, I do use the dollar to buy my food because that is just how it is now. But we are working towards getting away from that. And the purpose of the mask has nothing to do with health. It is completely a satanic ritual. It is about hiding your face from God. That's all it is. And this isn't even a new thing. This has been going on for years. I mean, I, we did a, a report on the back in 2017 on the latest Economist magazine to come out. And we didn't even cover this part of it. We, we, we did. didn't even notice this. And I'm going to mention it now as a follow up to the 2017 Economist cover. But there's, there's a there's a an image of a mask on that cover that alludes to things to come. And in 2017, this was already set into motion. Even uh, there was a really interesting video about Black Lives Matter. Um, Chazelle Sons, who was involved in that movement, who said back in 2017, the movement's been taken over by bad forces, Hillary Clinton, George Mm -hmm. Soros. So 2017, this whole thing that's going on today was already set in motion. So when you look at that Economist 2017 cover, the mask is integral to that of what's going on now. And uh, in pop culture, eyes wide shut. They're having their, um, the Illuminati guys are having their sex orgies with prostitutes and everyone's wearing the mask. I assure you that was very, very tame compared to what they actually do. Yeah, they wouldn't, they wouldn't be able to show what they actually do. I mean, this was just like I mean, soft they, core. You I mean, know? They, they'd have to, it gets expensive to pay underage children overtime. Yeah, right. And to sacrifice them on camera. <laughs> so, you know, their satanic ritual was was so mild compared to what it actually is. It makes me laugh now. It's like, oh, it's not 20 years ago. Yeah. It's, it's such an old fashioned movie. But it's out there. It's all yeah. there in plain sight. People just have to see it. So yeah, this is years and years ago. So this is nothing new. And the concept of the person is very important. To the, to the mask. Yes, yeah. because a person... And you won't find this definition in any modern dictionary. A person is primarily the mask of an actor used on stage. That is the that is the definition that over the past century or so has just been kind of phased out. Just the way they they phased out the payable and lawful money <laughs> off of the dollar yeah. and, and the lab. Interesting Probably. that the legal system would use the word lawful because lawful applies to God's law and lawful money would be real money, gold and silver, created by God. Legal tender is not lawful money. They also say public or private debts and there are no private debts. There are only public yeah. debts. But that's a, uh, that's a huge time. topic. <laughs> but 
the person. It's very important to understand what a person is to understanding the, this satanic ritual that's in place because we use the word person. That, that's one of those words that we just use almost absentmindedly just in everyday conversation. She's a good person. She's a bad person. But when you understand what a person I'm actually, a day person. Sorry. <laughs> when you understand what a person actually is and especially what it means in the legal system, you're going to have your mind blown. Well, you're not a person. That person is artificial. That's why the person is primarily the mask of an actor. In the legal system, in the system of fake law that, that most people are involved in, because of that legal name you have, that's that piece of paper that, that says you have that legal name, you're born with it, there's a birth certificate, there's a driver license, you've got all these things connected with it, and you give it life. You claim to be it. It is your mask. It is your person. It's a new you identity. Aren't... It's a new identity. You reject your old identity, your relationship with your original creator, and you assume a, a false identity that obscures your true identity. It's still there, but it's obscured. And that is what it, exactly what is prohibited in the second commandment. You yeah, that's a misunderstood uh, commandment. But that's what it actually yeah. means. We and did a Bible study on that. So you should check that out if you want to understand the uh, actual meaning of the first three commandments. And this also is what he's talking about in Revelation when, when the mark of the beast comes up. Mm -hmm is that yes, it, it, is, it is something that's taking place in a much higher dimension than just the 3D, but it, it is a physical thing too. And right now what we're seeing is with people being, I wanna say forced, but they're not actually, it, it's, it's, all not done, it's all done through mind control mm -hmm. because it's not a law. So what you have is government actors saying that you have to do something and there is no there is no legal basis for that. They're just saying it and people are believing it like you can just stand on a podium, make a declaration, and all of a sudden everyone has to obey. It doesn't work like that. This isn't medieval England. So what's going on here is that people are voluntarily putting on this false appearance that's concealing what they actually are. And that is the mark of the beast. It's the false relationship. It's the false identity. Right. It's us being as gods, making our own rules. And what we end up with when that happens is that your servant becomes your master. And look what's going on with, with the government entities. They're just absolutely out of control right now. And it's only going to get worse. But it's everybody's fault. And so trying to use the legal system to fight this, which some people are. Um, somebody brought that up with us today when we were out shopping and um, in a particular store where I would have to say in our town, most stores are this way. They don't care if you wear a mask. They have the sign up because they have to, and if it's un if it makes people uncomfortable, they put it on. But uh, most of the stores are very lenient about it up here, and a lot of people up here do not buy into it. This is we're not in LA anymore. We're up and we've been up in the mountains for years. People up here are removed from all that kind of chaos, and they don't buy into it like they do in the city. Um, so LA people is a have been joke now. Uh, yeah. And then people have been sharing information and somebody had some legal information on a flyer that they were sharing about how it's unconstitutional to force people to wear a mask. It's not a law. The only problem I have with that, and I do appreciate the sentiment of people fighting back against this, but the problem I have with that is that they are fighting their own will. If they are members of this constitution, the fake one, which by the way, the, the living document they call the constitution, it's not living. It's a piece of paper. It's fictional. And it isn't the real constitution. The real constitution is God's world. So if you're trying to fix this problem through the very system that created the problem, which is your own will, and you're fighting your own will as one, it's never going to work. Has it ever seemed like it's going to work? It Has never, it ever worked it, before? Yeah, the answer think about is this. No. Every time that something comes up, I used to vote years ago, something would come up on the ballot that I believed in. Oh, let's not cut down the Tillamook Forest. Let's preserve it. <laughs> great. That's a great idea. Yes, I want to preserve the Tillamook Forest. And then uh, sure enough, boom, it, it totally fails. They cut down like 80% of the forest. You know, it never works. Nothing I believe in ever passed, ever. So you have to remember that it's the people as one ruling themselves. It may, that's, why the, that's what the saying, all ye gods mean. Right. It's like everyone's God in this system. And that is strictly prohibited 
by the first commandment and the mark of the beast, that false identity, that's the idolatry, the graven image that is strictly prohibited. In the second commandment. And guess what? The third commandment, which comes before don't kill and don't steal, is don't come whining to me. And this is God speaking. Don't come whining to me when you break the first two commandments. I already told you. Yeah. Are you deaf? Yeah. I he mean, said what would happen. So this is what's going on. And the beast is the system, that uncontrollable animal. It's irrational. It's it's fed by all of our votes and our money and everything that we feed into it. And most of all, by our souls. When you have a legal name yeah. and you put on that, that's your identity. Oh, you got to prove my identity. Here's the driver license. That's my identity. That is not your identity. That's an assumed identity. That's an identity you carry. That legal name is not you. That picture is not you. That's the graven image. That actually is the mark of the beast. But this is a spiritual mark of the beast. The physical one is coming. And it has already started with the mask. So yeah. remember, this is a satanic ritual to cover your face, hide yourself from God, hide yourself from everyone else around you. You're concealing your own divine nature because you emanate from God. We are made in his image. If you're covering yourself, you're hiding the image of God. It's you're a terrible thing that's going on with the mask. And I'm glad you mentioned the dollar because use of the dollar as it is feeds the beast so yes because so, remember no one may buy or sell unless he has the mark i'm getting but, to that i'm getting okay, to that sorry. But, <laughs> but the dollar is being used as a weapon right now because who controls the dollar well satan the very basically that that's the simplified explanation but yes it's all the it's it's all the people as one that control it the the god the fake god that we make and then serve so excuse me when when he says your servant will be your master that means when you when you create this false god and then become subservient to it well you can't make your maker it's it's fictional it's all in our heads but this is what we do and this is why everything is out of control and Right now, the dollar is totally being used as a weapon by those who made it. And we it's going to be difficult, of course, but we don't have to support that anymore. And yeah. so, so countries are finding ways now to trade without using the dollar. And, of course, countries are against the law, too. You can't form countries. Those are also graven images. Those are also persons in law. Uh, so are cities and states and counties and towns. Uh, they're all persons in law, and that's all. That's all against the law. That's all bringing to life the dead, and you're not allowed to do that. Well, we we first heard that concept of the dollar as a weapon from Mike Maloney from GoldSilver.com, and he has a lot of videos on YouTube that you could check out about. Uh, about currency devaluation and the importance of gold and silver, which she says is real money, you know, and that, that's true. It is uh, something that can't be devalued. Of course, it's ultimately not the be all end all, but it's a way of protecting wealth right now to, to keep it in metals as opposed to paper, uh, useless paper that could be devalued at any moment by excessive printing or any monetary policy set out by its creator, which owns that dollar. Our last episode was about why the dollar is usury and why it's unlawful. And it never will belong to you. But that concept that Mike Maloney brought up of the dollar as a weapon, it's very interesting to me because it's not just against other countries. He was talking about how the U.S. uses it as a weapon against countries that do things that they don't like. But it's also being used as a weapon against us. And as far as the mark of the beast goes, where it says in Revelation that no one will be able to buy and sell unless he has the mark of the beast... No one will be able to buy and sell in dollars unless they have the mark of the beast. There are other ways of doing it. You do not have to let everything be on the radar and, and in the government's eyes to see. Uh, there's ways that we can barter and trade and come up with other ways of doing things, go back to gold and silver. I'm not saying we're there yet, but this is ultimately where things need to go. Yeah. And we need to gain life skills like growing food, tending the land. These are the kind of things that we're talking about. Right. We're far from where we need to be, obviously, but things are happening 
in this world right now that is so crazy that maybe it will just jolt people back into a state of awareness where they realize that, okay, we really have to get out of the city, get onto the land and start at least make an effort to start doing things a little differently and to stop relying on the system that's enslaving us to make us free because that will never happen. And yes, that, that is the problem is all ye gods. Yeah. When we are gods and ruling ourselves as one, it's just not going to work. You're not, you're well, it's not... against the law. I mean, we can't, we don't know anything. None of us know anything. God knows everything. Why would we not listen to him? Why would we think we know better than God? But what I'm saying is that we can't, we can't progress as a species until we get off of God's seat of power and start being subservient to yeah. him because he is the real God. We didn't create ourselves. He did. It's obvious. Nobody created themselves when we come into this world everything is already here when we die it all stays here mm -hmm. you can't take anything with you so you can't claim ownership over any property on earth and apply your will to it it's just not possible so we have to return to our creator you can't just reject the dollar and then start bartering and give up your legal name without understanding what got us into yeah this you have to understand place. that because I get a lot of messages from people who just, they just want it all, you know, then you can't have it all. And you can't have something for nothing. And there is no such thing as a free lunch. And people want money. They want dollars. They want to get more dollars. This is not what this is about. And you, here's another scripture. You can't serve God and mammon. That's just part of yeah. it. But you can't, you can't be always desiring to acquire the material things of this world and serve your true creator. It's just not possible to do both. In Revelation, when it talks about the mark of the beast, the, the mark of the beast, it is a number of a man. Okay, so it is the number of a man, and that number is 666. People always think 666 means the devil. 666 is the number of a man because man was created on the sixth day. And so ultimately what that means is that we are doing Satan's will, us men and women of the world who have that number we are doing satan's will by opposing god and putting our own will that's the all ye gods so it's really important to understand what that 666 means what the mark of the beast is everyone already has it you can get rid of it but everyone already has it what's going to happen is it's going to get more serious and they're going to start doing physical things to you, which is why we have some other videos recently on name and identity, how to make sure that uh, they know you have a legal piece of paper in their system that says, that's not my name. That's just, it stops them from touching you. That's why we are teaching this. But again, we have to reject what it does in the whole legal realm because yeah. that's ultimately not the solution. And either. it's unlawful. The legal realm the, is unlawful and it's iffy too. You never know if you're going to achieve what you want or not. Because the legal system is not real law. It's pseudo law. It's the people just say, it, again, back to that word person, what it means when you and I are in just an informal discussion means something completely different in the legal system. They can... Orange can mean blue in the legal system. They can say for this bill or th this word means for the this, for the purpose of this. Of this. And, and so the legal system is all just word sorcery. It's creating uh, with words. Again, this is, um, this is idolatry. This is uh, creating graven images. So what the problem is that people don't know is they don't understand what those first commandments mean. That's why we did a Bible study. We had some Bible study for quarantine back when this was first going on so that, you know, it's a little food for thought, something to do while you're stuck at home, you know, and uh, understand that these commandments are not about making golden calves and bowing to them. This is about worshiping yourself, creating this false rule by the people as one, as gods, and taking God's seat of power. You can go back to, I, I forget if it was first or second Samuel, I think it was first when the people wanted a king. The Israelites desired a king to rule over them. And God tells Moses what's going to happen 
and he says, go tell the people what will happen if they, they choose this. And, and he just starts out and it's just one thing after another. And it's, and it's the same thing that's going on today. Yep. They'll, they'll steal everything of yours. They will, they will lord over you. You will have no freedom. I'm, I'm just paraphrasing again. Mm-hmm. But the very last thing he says, and your servant will become your master. And so the civil servants that are supposed to be doing our will are now, they're now the masters over everybody. So we create something that takes on a life of its own and we are subservient to it. Is it any wonder that it's screwing us at every turn? It can, it can't do anything but that. We have to return to our creator. It is imperative that we do that. And if we don't do that, I, I don't even know what's going to happen. Well, everybody's going to die. I mean, he's going to destroy everything. So it's not good. It's already happening. You have to see that it's already happening. So I just wanted to talk a little bit about why the mask is a satanic ritual. And, uh, you know, I am not saying don't put it on when you have to go buy your groceries because you'll get kicked out. And I wouldn't try to make fights with people over it. But, I mean, I wish that people... Uh, in mass would not do it. I think that if everybody just refused, it would go away, but it's just not happening. So and it's not going to happen. No. It's not going to be everybody or no. even most or half doing it. Yeah. It's going to be a small amount of people that get it and can get out. And it says over and over again throughout the New Testament, the time is at hand. The time is at hand. So now is the time to actually do something about it. And the time for waiting is over because this world is changing and it's changing fast. So I recommend doing something about it. Thank you for listening. Please check out our inspiration, Marcus. His YouTube channel is called called Servant King. He's got about 20 something videos up. Please watch them in order and you'll start to get a better grasp of what's going on. And read the book. And read the book. That's the most important thing you can do. And use your brain, because if you see contradictions in there, you'll know that you have a bad translation. (laughs) Yeah, I mean, I think that the King James Version seems to be pretty um, on top of it. It's hard to read. It's it's harder to read. Um, It's hard to read, but as Marcus points out, it's technical writing. It doesn't flow like literature does. It's the law. This This is law. And in law... Every word counts. Yeah. And there was what, a few mistakes in our version. We have a tree of way? life, uh, tree of life Bible, and yes. it's sort of like a standard Christian kind of translation, but with uh, Hebrew words. You're not allowed to but add to this, it. You're not allowed to remove yeah. from it. So, as you know, every word counts. And what better words to read than the words of our Creator, yeah. inspired by Him, and for us? Because another thing, Marcus says, there's only us people here. So, the time is now. Thank you so much for listening. Please come to our website and check out what we do with Orgone Energy and Organite. That's www.thekembo.com. We've got lots of information up there, so please check it out. Thank you for listening and thank you for your support. We will see you again next time.